for different denominators. Go ahead and take out a sheet of paper and a pencil. All right, now that we are ready, we're going to get started. So our first problem is One half plus two six. All right. So when we are adding fractions with different denominators, there are a few things we need to know. All right. One of the first things we need to know is what is a fraction? Yes. Correct. A fraction is a small portion of a whole. The next thing we need to know is what is a numerator? Yes. The number above the line. That is correct. And the next thing we need to know is what is a denominator? Yes. The number below the line. Correct. Now that we know the difference between our numerator and denominator, we can get started. When adding fractions of different denominators, the first thing we need to do is find the least common denominator. And in order to do that, we need to pull out our two denominators, which are 2 and 6, and bring them over to the side to look for multiple. So we're going to start with the smallest number first, which is the number 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Good job. And 2 times 3 is 6. Oh, look, we already have a least common denominator, so we're going to circle those. And the next thing we need to do is rename and rewrite our problems. So we're going to take our 1 half and our 2 6 down here, and we're going to rename them. So in order to get 6 to be the denominator of 1 half, we need to multiply 2 by 3. three. And since we're multiplying the denominator, we also need to multiply the numerator. Correct. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. six. 1 times 3 is three. 3. Good job, class. Next, we have 2 over 6. In order to get the denominator to be 6, we need to multiply it by 1. Correct. And since we're multiplying the denominator, we also need to multiply the numerator, numerator. by 1. 1. Good job, class. 6 times 1 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. two. Correct. Now that we renamed our problem, we need to rewrite it. Over to the side, we're going to rewrite 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Now, we are going to keep our denominators the same. So, it's going to be 6. And we're going to add our numerators together. 3 plus 2 is? 5. five. Correct. Can 5 over 6 be simplified? No. So, this is our answer. Make sure you circle your answer, okay? Now, we're going to move on to our second problem, okay? Our second problem is 3 over 8 plus 2 over 12. Can anybody tell me what is the first thing we need to do? Yes. We need to drag our denominators over to the side. Yes, and what are our denominators? 8 and 12. 8 and 12. Which number are we going to start with first? 8. Because why? It's the smaller number. It's the smaller number. Alright, 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is? 16. 16. 8 times 3 is? 12. 24. 24. Oh, oh, oh. Now that we've written out three, 
we're going to move on to our next one, okay? 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24. And look, these two are the same. So our least common denominator is 24. Good job, class. And what do we need to do next? Now that we have our least common denominator, we need to... We need to... Get, yes? Rewrite. That is correct. But before we can rewrite, we need to... Rename our problem. To get A to be 24, we need to multiply it by 3. And since we're multiplying A by 3, we need to also divide 3 by 3. By 3. Good job. So A times 3 is 24. 24. And 3 times 3 is 9. Six. 9. 9. 9. Good job. Now we need to do our second one. To get 12 to be 24, we need to multiply it by 2. two. And since we're multiplying the denominator by 2, what do we need to do? Divide the top by Multiply 2. Multiply the top by 2. Multiply the top by 2. Alright. 12 times 2 is? 24. 2 times 2 is? 4. 4. Four. Now we're going to rewrite our problem. 9 over 24 plus 4, four over 24. 24. So our denominator stays the same. Stays the same. 24. Now we're going to add our numerators together. 9 plus 4. Ooh, 13. 13. We're going to call on somebody who's raising their hand nicely. Yes. 13. 13. Can 13 over 24 be simplified? No, ma'am. Alright, so this is going to be our answer. So we have one more problem, okay? Did everybody write down the first problem? Yes, ma'am. Okay, because I'm going to erase it now so we can have more room. Did everybody write it down? Yes, ma'am. Yes? 
Um, we have to rename them. Renaming. Renaming is the next step. Johnny, what's the next step? Rename. Rename. So we're going to take 3 over 5 and 2 over 10. 5 times what gets 10? Yes, 2. And since we're multiplying the denominator by 2, we need to multiply the numerator by 2. Correct. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. 6. Now, in order to get 10 to be 10, we need to multiply it by? Yes, 1. one. And since we're multiplying the denominator by 1, what do we need to do? We need to multiply the numerator by 1. Yes. So 10 times 1 is? 10. And 2 times 1 is? 2. All right. Next, we're going to rewrite our problem. 6 over 10 plus 2 over 10 is equal to? 6 plus 2 is? Yes. 7. Can anybody help Krista? Yes. Um, um, six, 6 plus 2 is 8. Is 8. What's 6 plus 2, Krista? 8. Good job. Can 8 over 10 be simplified? Yes, ma'am. All right. And how are you going to simplify? By 2. By 2. So what are we going to do? We are going to divide 10 and 8 by 2. Divide. Yes. 8 divided by 2 is? 4. And 10 divided by 2 is? 5. Correct. Can 4 over 5 be simplified? No, ma'am. All right. So we're going to do what to our answer? Circle, Circle it. it. Circle it. Good job, class. I'm going to come around now and pass out some papers with some practice problems on them, okay? If you need any help, feel free to ask me any questions. All right, class. I'm coming around with the whiteboards now. Two over six. 
So to get 4, 3, 12, we need to multiply it by 3. And what do we do to the numerator? We did we um did the same thing we did to the Correct. So one times three is three. Alright. And so to get six to be twelve, we need to multiply it by two. And what do we need to the numerator? The same thing. And two times two is four. Correct. So now we're going to rewrite 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12 is equal to what? 6. Yeah, this is why I have my problems and I did not know how to add them together. Alright, so what happens to our denominators? Don't we add them together which gets us 24? No, our denominators say what? Like the same. The same. Alright, so that's where you got a little confused that our denominators stay the same. Oh. And then 3 plus 4 is? 7. 7. Okay, guys. Everybody write down their answer to number 3 on their whiteboard. Pull them up. Good job, class. All right. Can anybody tell me what 3 over 5 plus 2 over 10 is? Yes? That's correct. The first thing we need to do is find our least common denominator or at least common multiple. Five times one is? Five. five. And five times two is? Ten. Two. And look, so we already have our least common multiple. So now we're going to rewrite and rename our problem, right? Yes, ma'am. So, we're going to take our three over five, and our 2 over 10. And to get 5 to be 10, we need to multiply it by? Yes? 2. And what do we have to do to the denominator? We have to multiply it by 2. To get? 6. 6. Good job. And to get 10 to be 10, we need to multiply it by? 1. Um, and what do we need to do to the numerator? Do the same thing. To get 2 times 1 is 2. So now we're going to rewrite our problem. 6 over 10 plus 2 over 10 is equal to... Shout it out all together, class. 8, eight over 10. 10. Good job. And can 8 over 10 be simplified? Yes. yes. Alright, and how are we going to simplify 8 over 10? Divided by 2. Divided by 2. <laughs> 8 divided by 2 is? 4. And 10 divided by 2 is? 5. Can 4 over 5 be simplified? No. So we're going to? Circle our answer. Yes. Miss Freelove, I didn't get the same thing. I divided, I did, I took out the two and the three, and it didn't get me what you guys got. Oh, so what you did is you found the least common numerator, okay? And we need to do the least common denominator, all right? So, um, don't worry guys, I see some of you struggled a little bit, so we're going to do some practice problems tonight at home, okay? So I'm going to go around and pass out our homework. Take one and pass it back, guys. Thank you.
All right, guys. Next time in math, we're going to be learning how to subtract fractions with different denominators, okay? Go ahead and put all your math supplies away. We're going to be transitioning into science.